Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto finance and the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates down today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a bit of a chaotic day in the crypto market. Bitcoin and other altcoins are absolutely plummeting at the moment. This always happens every Sunday evening in the United States and Monday morning in Australia without fail every single weekend. For as long as I can remember, this has always been happening. Anyway, I'm going to get into some news updates as well as go through my three commas trading bots with OKX. Now we've got obviously an opportunity of a lifetime with crypto and Ripple and XRP. Very, very bullish. We've also got another crypto expert coming out saying that XRP was not made for banks, really. Uh, anyway, we've also got a full list of the banking partners with Ripple that are currently using XRP. And also we've got more FUD coming out today. A denial of a Bitcoin spot ETF would be the biggest rug pull in history. Wow. Uh, anyway, we do have an update on all of the Bitcoin ETFs that are currently waiting for Gary Gensler to give his approval. Shiba Inu as well, burning a lot of tokens over the last 24 hours as well. AVAX has been pumping also. We're going to be going over that. Let's get into it, Bulls. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there. Turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see right here, Absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. All right. So make sure you give it a good old thumbs up. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one gold rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. All right. Formalities are out of the way, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the market's pretty much shot to shit at the moment. It's really, really annoying. Uh, but this is what happens in crypto. Everyone gets fearful and everyone loves jumping in when the market's flying and everyone's all happy. But when the market's down, everyone sort of runs the opposite way. And this is the time that I personally like to dollar cost average and to continue to build up my portfolio. This is what I don't understand about people's mentality. When it starts crashing, people run away. Anyway, Bitcoin sitting at 41,000 US dollars at the moment, down 0.27% as we speak. But let's go to the community tab. The altcoins that were up in my portfolio this morning. BTT, we had LRC Electronium. Uh, there are some issues apparently on CoinSpot. Uh, not coin, yeah, coin spot, sorry, uh, that uh, they can't even move or it's just been hindered for some reason. I haven't even looked, to be honest with you, but uh, let me know in the comments if you've had any issues with that. Not that I'm promoting coin spot anymore. They've absolutely screwed creators here in Australia, but there you go. Uh, Sologenic and Kin also up in the portfolio. Having a look at coin market cap today, we have $1.55 trillion uh, on the last... Uh, Checking on here, I believe this this new app is weird, by the way. Here we go. Let's go to the 24 hours. Okay, we're in the red at the moment. Again, new app, just getting used to it, of course. And uh, it's, you know, this always happens. Every Sunday evening around the rest of the world and in Australia, it's Monday, sort of late afternoon. Always happens. Great dollar cost averaging opportunity, in my opinion. The fear and greed index is sitting at 70. And uh, the volume is quite low, as you can see. It's in the red at the moment. Let's have a look here in the last seven days, Bulls. All right, so you can see it's been pretty much sideways, which, you know, everyone's sort of fearful waiting for these spot Bitcoin ETFs, which I think they will get approved. That's just my opinion. Anyway, top old coins. Look at everything in the red today. Wow. Uh, we have Electronium up. We have Sologeny, Constellation DAG, Loop Ring, and of course, Anchor Protocol. And Veracity is up also. I'm very, very bullish on Veracity. Anyway, let's go to the Wall Street Bull University Bulls. Yes, this is my official Patreon page where I put up all my buys, sells, trades, indicators, day trading bots, my futures grid trading bots, all of the news before I go live on the channel. Also, the full setup guides to my three commas trading bots, which, you know, again, have taken a massive hit today because I uh, obviously 
had the long positions open, but I'm going to be open and honest and transparent with everybody. This is why I say never invest more than you can afford to lose. Now, let's just have a look quickly. Uh, again, it's slowly creeping its way back up to profit. I've seen some massive losses uh, this afternoon and are slowly recovering. But anyway, overall, we're still up on the six months, okay? Anyway, also put up dividend investing as well. I have found a particular stock that I'm very, very bullish on, which provides cash flow every single month. Really wild. So that all goes up in the Patreon bulls. It is linked below. Join up. There is 1,533 posts of juicy information. Let's have a look at three commas. Now, again, I've only got two bots running two active bots, they have been making profit, okay? Today, the markets are really volatile. The bots had long positions opened up, which was absolutely insane. Coming to the short bot here, this is a multi-bot. It has made me 19,000 US dollars in profit, no BS. Uh, again, the market is extremely volatile at the moment. So again, don't go investing stuff that you can't afford to lose in three commas. Uh, or I should say in these trades, because we're trading with leverage on 15x leverage. Now, I just reduced them down to 12x. And obviously, I'm going to be posting up these links in the Patreon today, uh, just to reduce that leverage because it's extremely volatile. Now, again, I do not recommend trading with leverage because you will get liquidated. This is what happens. But it's part of the game. You have to be able to withstand these massive market fluctuations and also be emotionless with your trading. I know it's hard but you have to. Anyway, trading it on RSI indicator on a three minute time frame on both the long and short multi-bots. Now with these multi-bots, you only need to select a whole range of altcoins or you can trade a select few. It's completely up to you. And you also need to adjust these based on your capital and your requirements. Anyway, links are below to three commas. Go and have a look. Now I'm going to show you my OKX. Don't panic. This is what happens, but I'm down 2K at the moment. I was down a hell of a lot more than this today and we are slowly recovering as well. On the week though, I'm, I'm still making my way back up, which is nice. And uh, obviously the month has been tumultuous. We've had a lot going on with Binance. We've had the flash crash that happened, but I'm still up on the six months, 80%. I'm not complaining about that. That's still $17,953 in six months, which is nice. That is purely using three commas, uh, which is linked below. Now, again, I've got 101 positions open up at the moment, trading for me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And again, Every time on the weekend, this happens. Like literally when there's nobody trading, I mean, it's Christmas. Think about it, it's Christmas time. Everybody's relaxing over the weekends now anyway. And uh, these trade for me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But let's have a quick look at the position history. Let's have a look here. And again, there's been some big liquidations today because I had long positions open. I mean, this is what happens. But the short, the short bot is making profits, like no BS. The short bot is making profits, which is nice. And the long bots earlier today were making profit. These were all the deals that were closed out this morning. A few liquidations here, as you can see on AR, and we had the graph as well. Uh, Magic as well, that was a long position. YGG, obviously the market crashed. This is what happens when you get volatile markets over the weekend. But overall, we are still up 17K in six months. So I'm very, very pleased with that. And again, my daily trading, the market's crazy. And hopefully these bots will pick back that back up overnight when everybody wakes up around the rest of the world and we start trading. Anyway, moving on, let's go to crypto bubbles, ladies and gents. And the biggest gainer out of them all is Astar. I have no idea what the hell this project is. I have to look it up. I am not familiar with it at all. But I mean, these gains are insane. 71% on the day, 94 on the week, 116 on the month. 252% on the year. No idea what it is. I'm not really interested to be quite honest with you. Let's have a look on the hour to see what's happening as well. Everything is still in the red. In my opinion, it's a great dollar cost averaging opportunity. When everybody's fearful, everyone's away from the markets, everyone's running through the hills. This is when I like to dollar cost average because this is where real gains are made people. You don't buy at the peak of the market. Anyway, Solana is down 4.4% today, still trading at 69 US dollars. What else do we have, ladies and gentlemen? NEO, I do hold this, it's at $12 at the moment, still down 2.5% today. Let's have a look and find some other gems that I personally like. Optimism also down 2.1%, $2 at the moment, very, very nice as well. VeChain, VeChain's the bane of my existence. This thing has done jack all for like the entire year, but I'm still bullish on the project because supply chain and logistics will be on the blockchain very soon. And they are working with the UFC also. That's down 4.7%. And AVAX, this thing's been pumping 
the last month, up 83%. And it's still up 227% this year. I mean, where do you get 200% returns? It just does not exist. Anyway, let's get to the news because I want to get into it quickly. We have Raul Powell, of course. I mean, he's got some bullish predictions and he does some serious analysis using Bloomberg's terminal, which, by the way, costs around about 20000 US dollars a year, I believe, off the top of my head. It's crazy. And you need like a full-blown microchip to get into that. Anyway, former Goldman Sachs executive said on a recent podcast that he's long Ripple or XRP. Moreover, he is still holding that XRP tokens he bought when the SEC first sued Ripple Labs. Great time to dollar cost average. You see what I'm saying? Now, Real Vision CEO Raul Powell and crypto law founder of Ripple Amicus Brief lawyer Johnny Deaton in a recent interview that he bought XRP after the SEC filed its lawsuit against Ripple Labs. See what I mean? When you see something like that, it's like, okay, now the price has been massively discounted. We know it's a real thing. Half the people have been shut out of the market. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. So that's when I bought it and I've held it ever since. Now, that was in 2018. A lot of people have been holding it long before that. But I'm still bullish on it. Now, we have this FUD article coming out, but a so-called expert, uh, saying that XRP is not created for central banks or created for banks in general. Now, let's have a look at this. This is Panos. I don't hate against people, man, whatever. But this is his own opinion. But I'm not listening to this whatsoever. But you can have your own opinion, but not your own facts. He's saying XRP exists before Ripple. True. And uh, will continue to exist after it. I agree. XRP was not created for banks, but to empower individuals and DeFi. That I don't agree with. That statement I do not agree with. Okay. XRP is not and can never be itself a security. True, it cannot be a security. The XRP ledger is decentralized. Yes, of course it is decentralized. However, when you think about it, Brad Garlinghouse has clearly stated in public interviews that XRP was solely created to assist many different industries, including with cross-border payments. Now, obviously, central bank digital currencies. Also, real estate tokenizing that, derivatives, it's enormous. But the fact of the matter is that XRP was created to assist banks with liquidity issues and also to make cross-border payments faster and instantaneous. So yes, it was created for banks and to revolutionize the payment rails of the future. This is what I have read and researched for the last two and a half years on this channel. And also, these are the banks that are currently using Ripple's technology as well. And XRP, I should say. And one of those biggest ones is SBI Holdings. Insane. And we do have one of Australia's big four banks using it also. Now, the SEC denial, you know, could result in the biggest rug pull of all time. I mean, come on, seriously. Hurry up, Gary Gensler. Get off your uh, backside and get moving on these approvals. But the crypto community is on edge as the SEC and Exchange Commission, or I should say the Securities Exchange Commission, approaches a critical decision on the approval of a physically backed Bitcoin exchange traded fund. And we have an analyst, Nate Gers Garashi, right here, recently appoint uh, the, the potential impact of the SEC's decision uh, predicting a significant market pullback in the ETF is not approved. If a spot Bitcoin ETF is not approved in January, it might be one of the bigger rug pulls in crypto history. And, uh, anyway, the analyst is still, is still convinced that the, the odds of such product being greenlit by the SEC are close to 100%. Look, they're not going to deny BlackRock. BlackRock essentially controls the entire stock exchange on Wall Street. Come on, seriously. They are not going to deny BlackRock. It's as simple as that. They will work with these particular companies as they are listed right here, including BlackRock, where you have Grayscale, which won the lawsuit for the SEC to actually look at their application as well. Uh, we have Van Eck, Wisdom Tree, Invesco, Fidelity, Valkyrie, Global X. Hashtags, Franklin Templeton and Pando Asset. These are the current uh, applicants for a spot Bitcoin ETF also. And there's many other ETFs out there on the planet. So I just don't understand Gary Gensler's philosophy. He himself also said Bitcoin is not a security. What's the freaking issue? Hurry up. Come on. Honestly, what, what, are they, what are they doing at the SEC? Just sitting there just drinking lattes? I don't even know. Like, hurry up. Come on. This should not take long at all. Going through all of the documents, there are teams of people at the Securities Exchange Commission. Hurry up. Seriously. Anyway, 
Shiba Inu burns billions of Shiba Inu and the burn rate skyrockets by 727,000%. There was some stupid amount of Shiba Inu burnt last night. 8.6 billion tokens were burnt in six transactions in the past day. And uh, obviously, you know, I'm still holding on to my Shiba Inu, but this is happening more and more. Shibarium, I'm not too familiar what's going on there at the moment. I haven't even looked at it, but I'm still holding on to my Shiba Inu. I've been holding it ever since well before Vitalik uh, and that whole scenario happened with him, them gifting that money to him, obviously. But anyway, community indicates most trending sectors of Avalanche. This is AVAX and analysts are attributing this upsurge, which has been recently happening with AVAX, uh, for uh, a real world asset tokenization segment. AVAX is promoted as one of the leaders of this sphere which is good. Now, besides the RWAs or real world assets, Avalanche AVAX enthusiasts indicated some others focused on its ecosystem, its synonymous crypto analysts and educations, crypto poem, crypto, what is it, Kate? I can't even pronounce his name. Author 7C newsletter uh, obviously says the real world assets and meme coins as the most promising spheres of AVAX DAPS scheme, seen right now. Cool. I'm still holding AVAX. It is part of my banking coins. Now, moving on, let's go to the buy flow. There is not a lot happening on Twitter today because, again, everyone's chilling over the weekend. But we have Bitcoin up, Worldcoin, money going into ICP. We have XRP, Nice, Sheep. We have DYDX, Arbitrum, Chainlink. We have Atom and also Ethereum. That is where the money's flowing. Have a quick look at X. I don't even have it up. Let's bring it up, bulls. Now, I'm at the Wall Street Bull Oz. Thank you to those 5,831 people you guys rock. Yes, I've only got one account, the Wall Street Bull Oz. There is another fake account and few of them out there that actually are verified, saying that I'm born in October. It's completely fake. Unfollow them. Anyway, yes, that is my Bitcoin skull ring. Go grab yourself one of those. The Bitcoin bull run begins now versus 2017. Thank you, T-Analyst, for this tweet. And you can see there was a dip. It's like clockwork, man. You have to be able to stick it out. Remain bullish not financial advice. 65 on the fear and greed index. Michael Saylor on Bitcoin. Have a listen to well, this. The real important point is there's broad-based consensus now that Bitcoin is an asset class. And that's a major revolution. If Fidelity and BlackRock and, and if 10 other ETF issuers all agree that Bitcoin is an asset class, it should be 10x to 100x bigger than it is right now. There's also broad-based agreement that sometime in the next year, a spot ETF will be approved. I think the third significance is this is not BlackRock taking over Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin being embraced by BlackRock. None of these ETFs, none of these leaders of these money managers have, have said, we just heard about Bitcoin, we're here to fix it. What they've said is, we heard about Bitcoin, it seems like everybody in the world wants it. And since we offer people gold and bonds and equity, we have a vacuum and we won't be complete until we're offering a Bitcoin product. So if we consider this. There you go. Heard it from Michael Saylor. Moving on, we have the full list, which I just read you. January is the deadline, apparently. And that is pretty much it for today on Twitter. I should say X. I'm still getting used to that, by the way. And of course, we have my banking coin list, which I'm very, very bullish on. Yes, Bitcoin is in there. It is digital gold. We have XRP, Solana, AVAX is in there as well. All of them are down, apart from Celo, Corium, uh, Constellation DAG is up 10%, Sologenic, and Electronium is up 20% today. And there are some issues with that, but I have no idea. I have to look into what's going on there. But anyway, I'm still bullish on all of these coins. Utility is king, not meme coins like Bonk. Please be careful that you'll get wrecked. Yes, if you're early, you will make gains. But in the long run, meme coins fade out. Utility is absolute freaking king. Anyway, I'm out of here, balls. Join the Patreon. It's linked below. Let's see how the market goes in the next 24, 48 hours. Hopefully, everyone starts picking up. But long term, you've got to think long term, and you have to be able to take the downturns as well as the upsides. Anyway, I'll speak to everyone tomorrow. Have a good night, good evening, good afternoon. And if it's morning, have an espresso. Good morning to you. Peace out, guys. I'll speak to everyone then. Bye.